Me gustaría I prefer in the past okay. because I would I would study. Would you like to have? Uh, okay, if I could have any job, uh, I I choose uh, um, I choose to be a, a teacher uh, because teacher is a, a beautiful a beautiful job and then I prefer uh, to be teacher. Nice. I prefer that would be I I prefer to be a teacher. Okay. Because okay. It's thank you. I prefer to be a teacher. Yes. And what signature do you do you prefer if you were a teacher? Yeah. Uh, I would like to be a, a, a teacher. But in what signature? In what materia? <laughs> ah, eh, I prefer um, mathematics. So good, nice. <laughs> I mm -hmm. don't like the mathematics. <laughs> and next, if you didn't need a sleep, how would you spend your night? Okay, if I didn't sleep, I, I will I will spend my night uh, learning English. <laughs> nice. Me too. Beautiful, okay. beautiful okay. job. Yes, Daniel, welcome. Thank you. Uh, to our meeting. Las otras son las mismas, bro. Yes. The other ones are okay. what? Hello, girls. No. How's the practice? We finished we finish the answers. Yes. Finish. You finished the answers? <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to ask you. Let's see. Right? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the internet for a second. Um, Hold on. So I need to reopen my WhatsApp. <laughs> so let's see, right? So if you were the world's best at something, what would you like to be at the world? the world's best at um, Alejandra? I would like to be best playing piano. <laughs> no. Okay, but, but remember, it's a conversation. So that's why I can't believe that you're done because it's a conversation, right? You need to say, okay. I would like, first of all, remember, try not to say like, avoid that, right? Because when you, if you say that that's not, it's not wrong. It's just that we overuse it, you know? It becomes okay. a filler. You know what a filler is? No. Una muletilla, right? Mm. I would like, I would like, I would like. No, like is not the only verb that exists, right? So you can say, I would be, I would be, um, uh, the, I would, I would, I would be, be Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would like, okay. So in that case, right, I would be the best at playing the piano because I would, I would love to become someone like Beethoven and we re remember it for life after I'm 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 even dead. Uh I want people to remember my name because of this and this and that, right? And you start talking and you start developing the story, right? So a, a conversation. So I'm not I'm not looking for simple simple answers like I would like to be a tiger, right? Just like random answers with random with with, with very very short answers, which are very random. Like, hey, what would you like to be the world the world's best at? Oh, I would like to be a tiger. Me gustaría ser un tigre, the best tiger, right? Mm -hmm. Like you need to you need to elaborate, right? So, all right, very good, uh, very good, uh, Alejandra. But yeah, let's keep practicing. Catherine, what about you? What would you like to be the world's best at? In my case. I will be the best singer because I have always wanted to have that talent and sing in short or at the school. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Very good. That's a more elaborate answer, right? Very good. So continue like that, okay? Just practice, okay. girls, right? Just have fun. Get to know each other. You can come up with your own questions if you want in. 
in uh, second conditionals, but do it in English, not in Spanish, okay? <laughs> not in Spanish because, <laughs> I mean, why? <laughs> so let's go. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All, all right. So and, let me let me hear you guys. Let me hear you. Um, and the next question is, uh, if they didn't need to sleep, who will you spend your night? Okay. Um. <laughs> I would like to spend my night uh, working out because I like sports and, and I consider myself uh, an athlete and I would like to to spend my my time wor uh, working out and the other thing that I would like to to do is studying because uh, I like I, I like study and because I love my my currently my current degree, sorry, and I would like to to study very hard and learn and learning uh, more things about my my field. And finally, uh, maybe I would like to spend more time with my family, with my girlfriend, with my with my friends because um uh, I think that is uh that is a special time and I would like to to spend more time with with them. Okay. Beautiful you, answer, beautiful answer. Continue. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, teacher. And it I would like us to spend tonight uh, dicing every night. <laughs> Well, my friends and my family. Yes. Okay. Yes. You would like to spend your night dancing? Is that what you said? <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. That's awesome. So you love dancing? <laughs> um. So so. So so. So so. Yes. Uh, I, yeah, I would say a lot uh, because every alone. Yes. Uh, my. Uh, no sé cómo se dice. When I was uh, when I was young. Uh, when I was young and, and yeah um, after the, my son um yeah no more. Yeah no thanks. Oh okay, but you're still young. You don't sound old. Okay, no. <laughs> it's, you're you're good. Don't worry, you still have time. Do it, you know, just do it. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. So we're gonna go back now, guys. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Okay, teach. Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen from the Vlad Universe. How are you doing? All right. Good good job, guys. I heard uh most of you and 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 you 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 clearly understood the topic. So that is really 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 good. Okay? Do we have any questions, guys, about the structure or the usage of second conditionals? Yes, no, maybe. Did you find it interesting, guys? Is there anything new that you learned about second conditionals? Has there been anything new that you learned about second conditionals or not? Okay. Very good, guys. So the next the, the next topic that we're gonna be touching base on base on is uh what if okay, which is related to second conditional, right? So we can use this guys with with first conditionals, just like in the examples, right? If there is what if there is no fish in the river, you won't be able to finish to to fish them, right? But we're gonna be using them with second conditionals, okay? Um, just know that you can use them, you know, with first conditional too, right? And what do we use what if for, guys? The answer is in front of your eyes. Okay, the so of a question, consequences of an action. Very good. So it's a question, right? To talk about the consequences of an action. 
Okay, that is what we use what if for. So for example, right, so we're gonna say that we have what if in here. All right, so let's let's talk about what if. All right, so let's say, guys, that we have something like an imaginary situation, right? So you know the structure of a second conditional. So let's imagine this, okay? So if I had a million dollars, right? This is the, the, the example that we practiced at the beginning, right? If I had a million dollars. And, and we say, what would you do if I had a million dollars, right? So you can reduce all of that, guys, and say what, you know, just put what at the beginning, right? Right? And then turn this into a question. Notice that there's, this is, it's it's funny because we're using, you know, a W question, but it's not followed, right? It is not followed by an auxiliary. This is not an auxiliary, okay? Yet, it is a question. What if I had a million dollars, right? First of all, guys, it's got the structure of a second conditional, doesn't it? Right? It has the structure of a second conditional. So we have the if clause and then we have simple past, right? So we have simple past here, right? And we have the, the you know, this is the start of the if clause. So all we're going to do, guys, is place what at the beginning, okay? And we're going to follow it by a second conditional structure. So what if I had a million dollars? And you can answer, you know, I would buy a house, right? I think I would, right? So you can use what if, guys, to make questions about um, the consequences of a result, right? Um, what if I didn't take showers every day? What if I didn't take showers every day? And you can answer. Oh, I would smell like uh, this deodorant cold. Um, Pacuso, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't, <Seven hours. laughs> Don't ask about <laughs> that's that's a real brand, guys. Pacuso, right? Don't ask what that is. <laughs> But yeah, let's pretend you know that you know that's that's just you know. All right, very good, right? So, so you know, I would smell like this deodorant, pacuso, cold pacuso, right? So let's put it like this. So it doesn't sound so bad, right? Pacuso, pacuso, right? So, anyways, right? I would smell like this deodorant called pacuso, right? <laughs> so, all right. So this would be right. This would be an example. Hey, you know what? We're talking about um consequences of an action but this is in, in an imaginary situation scenario right so you can combine guys you know you can combine what if with second conditionals okay let's have another example what other thing can we ask guys so you know what it's mother's day uh tomorrow right so we have mother's day coming tomorrow so you can say what if what if we didn't give any gifts to our dear mothers. So, okay, so this is another scenario, right? To talk about the consequences of this action. So basically what I'm saying, basically guys, when you use what if, you're saying this, what would be the consequences of not giving any gifts to our, any gifts to our, to our mothers, you know, tomorrow, right? So you, this is what you're saying. What are the consequences of not giving any gifts to our mothers, to our dear mothers, right? Tomorrow, 
or you, let's say you know on Mother's Day. Okay, and actually, not what are what would be, what would be, okay, this is more like okay. Mothers on Mother's Day. All right, so guys, let me ask you this. Are these two questions, do they mean the, the exact same thing, yes or no? When I say, guys, what if we didn't give any gifts uh, to our mother, to our dear mothers and Mother's Day, on Mother's Day, versus what would be the consequences of not giving any gifts to our dear mothers and Mother's Days, on Mother's Day? Uh, would that be, guys, the same question, yes or no? Yes. Yes, it is the exact same thing. The exact same thing, right? So, yes, guys, it is the exact same thing, right? We're saying, yes, you know, the consequences, right? What if? So, basically, guys, that's why saying what if is beautiful because you don't have to say all of this. Imagine, guys, that all of this part right here, what would be the consequences of not giving? This part right here, guys, what would be the consequences of is reduced on what if, okay? So we can say, guys, that all of these words are uh, compiled into what if. Do you get it? Do you get it, guys? All right. This is all compressed yes, into yeah. what if, right? Pretend, guys, pretend that this is, you know, these are like candies, right? Right? These are like, like, you know, candies, whatever. Right? I don't know. Those look like coins, guys, but whatever, you know? Candies, candies, candies. Okay, so these are like candies or these are like cookies, right? Let's... Let's call them cookies, okay? So we have cookies here, you know. Each of these words is a cookie, right? So we have multiple cookies over here, right? And all of this, guys, all of those cookies, cookies are going to be put into this box, okay? So... Todas esas galletas, guys, right? Cada una de esas palabras es una galleta, right? Todas esas galletas van a ser puestas dentro de una caja que se llama what if. Para que vos no tengas, right? No tengas que usar, comer todas las galletas de una vez, right? You can save them and you can store them, right? And you can put them in one place. And whenever you refer to the box, we know that we're talking about the cookies, right? So that's what what if is talking about. Okay, what would be the consequences of? So I want you guys to do me a favor and write down five examples using what if. And I want you guys not to use I, okay? What if I? I was using I. I want you to use, talk about your family, your friend, Chayanne, Dua Lipa. Where are you like nowadays, right? What is this? Uh, you can say what if, you know, nowadays, right? This is very popular. What if K-pop? Was good. You can say something like this, right? I'm kidding. If you like K-pop, that's that's fine. <laughs> but there is a mistake here. What's wrong with what if K-pop was good? And I'm sorry, right? Let's say what if K-pop was bad, right? Because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings here. So what if K-pop was bad? What are we... There, There is a mistake here. What is the mistake? I'm going to give you guys... If you give me the right answer... You will win zero dollars. So there's your motivation, okay? So what if K-pop was bad? What is the mistake here, guys? What is the mistake was. in that? Was. Very good. Who said that? Thanks. Oh, Gavi, okay. Why is that wrong? Because we should be using... It would be where? Where, yes. Right? Where? Because we're talking about a real scenario. 
okay? So guys, I want you to come up with five examples in your notebook, and then we're gonna read them aloud, okay? So let's go, guys. Let's say, take a look at those examples, right? Let's go. Teacher. Wait, tell me. Um, we can use don't instead of didn't, or it always has to be in the past. We can use, no, we can use, we can use, um, we can use guys this in the present. Yes, that that's 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 something that uh, we said at the very beginning of the class that we can use it with with um. Oh no no no! I didn't tell you about. Yeah yeah no we we actually I actually told you about this in simple present. Yes, you can use it, you know with first conditionals of course. What if you, what if you come to my house tomorrow, right? You can say that. But we're not practicing first conditionals. So, so to answer your question, yes, of course we can use them. Of course we can use them with, with uh, first conditionals, but we are going to practice this with second conditionals only, okay? Today. Sounds good? But very good, good question, good question. Any other question, guys? We good? All right, so give me five examples, guys. Let's go.
Right. So um, how are we doing? Did we finish all five of them? All right. Now I still see some people writing down the examples. Joanna, did you finish all five of them? No, yet, teacher. Okay, right, all right. Finish them, guys, okay? That's right. Let's go, no worries. let's hear your examples guys real quick um let's go with let's go let's go let's go with Caesar. teacher tell me what is dua lipa word what is dua lipa word your wife <laughs> all right very good what is what is dua lipa this is your home <laughs> your house <laughs> what else do you have I guess all your examples I guess what all is, five examples are Dua Lipa huh? what if my mom were angry I, I thought that you were gonna you were gonna what say is, what if my mom were Dua Lipa alright very good what if my mom were angry right <laughs> not teacher no what if you were in love Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Those are perfect questions, man. Very good. Thank you. Joanna. Let's go, Joanna. No jet teacher. Okay. I have Alejandra's on the chat. What if the planet Earth was flat? What if chickens could, not can? You can say what if chickens can fly, that is okay, but that isn't a first conditional scenario. This is a second conditional, right? So we need to say what if chickens could fly? What if you can't count? What if you couldn't count ships after sleeping? Right? What if the sun turned off in the past? And what if we had sausage fingers? That that one is grammatically correct and very, very very weird. <laughs> Very good. Uh, thank you, Alejandro. Raul, what if I don't finish the platform? Now, Raul, that is a first condition and not a second one. What if I don't pass it? Pass, not passed. And that is, again, a first condition. What if aliens really existed? Guys, you need to use the verb in the past, not the present, okay? What if we were to celebrate Mother's Day? Very good, Jose Edson. What if I had to share a room? What if money cannot buy? Now, again, guys, 
a lot of you are making this one mistake as it needs to be in the past, not the present. What if money could or could not buy happiness? What if no one heard a sound? What if plastic was where, right? Because it's a it's an unreal situation. What if plastic were banned? What if someone wrote a story about you? Very good. That the, the last the last one is good. Raul, what if I missed myself? I think you want to say, what if I lost my cell phone, right? And you need to say cell phone. In English, you don't say cell. It's cell phone, okay? Can I say, what if there would not have... No, you, you can't say that. What if there would not have been no dark age? What if there had not been a dark age? Okay, but that... Right? That is not a second conditional. That would be correct, but that would be a third conditional. You know? But that's how you would say, what if there had not been in, any dark cage? Uh, Raul, what if we didn't miss our flight? Very good. What if there have not? No. no. Like, like this, ever. And this is a third condition, not a second one. So that would be not the right example, but it is grammatically correct, right? What if there hadn't been you know any dark age ages right very good um teacher tell me in the examples uh, what if i have a headache what if i had a headache i had i had uh -huh. yes yes and what if i can turn back time what if I could? Guys, the pride, the past, right? The past. What if I could turn back time? Okay. Right? Gabby says, what if your father what if your father were messy? Okay. What if your father were messy? Right? Very good. Okay. Okay. And next uh, what if he spent playing all day? What if he spent his spent. time playing all day? Okay. Yes, you can say that. You, you can say that, right? Gabby, do you have... Thank you very much, Nidia. Gabby, do you have your example now? Yes, it is. What if my mom didn't receive a gift for her birthday? Okay. All right. Very good. Good job. Uh, Joanna, what about you, Joanna? Uh, what if you have, have 10 cats in your house what if you had 10 cats in your house very good what else and what if Cheyenne were Salvadorian all right very good what if Cheyenne were Salvadorian very good good job thank you uh Edgar what do you have sir what if I had six children <laughs> what if I were in Japan what if I didn't clean my house? What if my dad didn't give me money for pay the college? For paying the what college. If my oh, okay, thank you. What if my sister didn't go to the school? Very good. And that would be for paying college, actually, right? Not that college. Very good. Thank you. Elvira, what do you have, Elvira? All right, uh, Jose Daniel, what do you have, Jose? What is hard to study English for Freeline? What if what, I'm sorry? What is with hard to study English for Freeline? Okay, very good, very good. Okay, Cecilia, what do you have, Ceci? Uh, what if I have a superpower? And if I had a superpower, uh huh. And I would like to uh, fly. All right, I would like to fly. Very good. Good job, what... guys. Sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, what if I have a million dollars. I would like 
to travel around the world. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. What if I had not have had, right? Very good, guys. Um, Real quick, guys. You guys are doing a really good job. The only thing is that I need you to remember that you need to use the verb in, in simple past, okay? If it is a second conditional. It's not wrong to use it in the present and it's not wrong to use it in the third conditional form, but those are, you know, not for unreal situations, right? We're talking about unreal situations and therefore we need to follow the structure of a second condition, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to leave, to go to sleep. However, tomorrow, you know, we're not going to have a class. We're going to have a class on Thursday and we're going to have a class on Friday. But if you are a mother... I want to wish a very happy Mother's Day, right? So happy Mother's Day if you're a mother, right? If you're not, uh, tell a happy Mother's Day from my, you know, um, for me to your mom. <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. <laughs> thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy. Your Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.